Hey guys, hope you all have been well. Welcome back to my channel. And uh, here we have it guys, the next installment of the makeup collection. And this is more base products, powders, foundations, primers, luminizers, setting spray. And as you can tell, it's not that much. I really don't hoard or buy a whole bunch of things that aren't blushes or brushes. So this should be a fairly quick video. So if you're interested in what these items are, I hope you just to stay tuned. Starting off with my primers, I have the e.l.f. Putty Primer. This is the original and I have this much left. So I've done quite a bit of damage so far in this product. It's good at filling in pores, but in terms of mattifying and helping with my oils, not so much. But I do intend on finishing this one up. This one here is the NYX Bear With Me, what is it called, Hydrating Jelly Primer. And this stuff, if I'm being completely honest, I don't really like it. I heard that it was similar to the Milk Hydro Grip Primer and in no way, shape or form is this similar to it. I guess the hydrating factor in which it kind of like feels like gel. But in terms of having that tacky finish, which I really like about the Hydro Grip Primer, this doesn't have that at all. It's just just like a really quick moisturizer all over the face. And lastly, here is the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Perfecting Primer. This is really good stuff. I'm thinking of buying one more before it's completely off the market. And I think I saw this on Beautylish. But this is really good if you don't want your makeup to go anywhere. If you have oily skin, if you sweat a lot, if you have a tendency of having your makeup just slip and slide all over your face and you want it to stay put, then this is a really good primer. However, it is extremely mattifying. So just be forewarned, it's some pretty strong stuff. And here we are with my five current foundations four of which are open and one that is new so I guess I'll start off here this is the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint I got this in shade 10 and it was the one that was matched to my foundation shade that I have in Fenty and this is what it looks like there are a ton of reviews on this already but I wanted to try it because I hear this is a really good tinted moisturizer foundation type thing and so I wanted to give that a go because the IT Cosmetics CC cream this bad boy right here I'm about halfway done and I think I'm just kind of over it it wasn't my favorite base makeup to begin with but I did want to try something and have an option for lighter days and so I went with this and this is the mini version but I don't know I just I think it's ran its course already in my collection I'm gonna see how I like the Fenty Beauty in comparison to it and then determine from there what I'm gonna do with the product here we have the Morphe filter effect soft focus foundation and I have this in the shade 14 yes it is medium 14. I don't really like this foundation if I'm being completely honest with you but I do have it as just kind of like a filler option. If I have a video to do where I'm gonna be wiping off foundation or something like that this is what I would use so I don't have to waste my other foundation which is what I did with my bronzer face watching video but it's not my favorite. It's not absolutely horrible but it's definitely not the one that I would go for with the other foundations I'm about to show you. I know this looks disgusting because it, it is, uh, and that is that. This is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation, and I use this shade Medium 80W. This is really good stuff. I would repurchase this over and over again because it has done pretty well on my skin. It doesn't stay on my skin like the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation would, which is another one I need to pick up because that is my like foolproof, will stay in place foundation but for every day this is beautiful and I love the finish on it it just looks so great on the skin so I've been using this a lot I don't know why this is but there's a line up here when the actual foundation is down here so I'm just about halfway done with this one. And then lastly, we have the Sephora Best Skin Ever. I have this in the shade Y29 or 29Y. Yeah, 29Y. And this shade happens to blend well into the darker parts of like my forehead or the outer perimeters of my face. But in terms of my neck and the center of my face, it is a bit dark, but not too much to where I would worry about it. But this stuff, guys, this is like my current favorite foundation 
foundation. It still isn't as long wearing as the Estee Lauder, but it is such a good find and it's not as expensive as some other foundations. So I think I've got myself hooked on this one here. It's got the same finish, I would say, as the Pretty Fresh, but just the wear on it is so much better. So currently, if you ask me about a foundation recommendation, this one here is so good. For luminizers, I've got only two products. This one here is the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. This is still available, but it seems like this one here is the newer go-to product. But this Wonder Glow is, I think, either my second or third tube of this, and I've already gone through so much. This is a really good option for people who have oily skin, who still like the glow, but without the oil effect. So these types of luminizers are really good, and I've been loving the Wonder Glow for years. But as far as my most recent luminizer purchase, again, we have Charlotte Tilbury. This is their Hollywood Flawless Filter, and I have it in the shade Medium 4. This one comes with a doe foot applicator, and I would just dot this all over my face and just kind of spread it out, much like I would a moisturizer. But for this one here, this is a squeezy tube, but the application process is still the same. They both do the same thing. You can just see that this one is a bit more golden, whereas this one has a bit more more of a champagne-y pinkish tint to it. However, both of these products are wonderful and I would definitely repurchase them should I ever run out. Moving on to powder, I have the MAC MSF and this is in the shade Medium Golden. This is my go-to everyday slightly sheeny powder. I've used this powder for years and there's not much I can say except that it's just really good stuff and I cannot be without it. So MSF Medium Golden, that is my shade. This stuff is good. Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, look at that. I do have some hard pan because some liquid got to it but a really big dent in here. I've gone through so many of these. This is the shade Transparent and I do have two more as backup because I must have this. This is my favorite matte powder whether it be loose or pressed. This is the bomb. Pat McGrath Under Eye Setting Powder. I have it in the shade Medium. This is new to my collection but the concealer and this product together absolutely amazing. I did a wear test on it which I think I did for six hours. This doesn't budge. It doesn't transfer. It really is quite powerful stuff so I have been loving this I'm so glad that I purchased it on a whim and this product here I haven't opened just yet this is the Sephora micro smooth powder and I have it in the shade 35 bronze I wanted to find something that was similar to my MSF shade I've heard about this powder being comparable to the MSF but being cheaper so I finally was able to pick one up when my brother was going to ship a box out my way and I'm really excited to try try it but it's currently still in its packaging and I just received it last week so four powders not so bad and I just had to include these last two this is fix plus I've used it for years absolutely love it it's not a setting spray I think it's more of a finishing spray so that that powdery look kind of just goes away and it just lets the makeup melt into your skin and I mean I just love it and it smells so good I've been using this forever so there we have it guys. Thank you so much for joining me in this base makeup collection video. And um, I think for the next one, I'll be going into lip products and then maybe just more miscellaneous stuff from there. So till the next video, I hope you all are doing well, taking great care of yourselves. I will see you all next time. Bye guys.